Well, it's not a problem that most job seekers think about interviewing too well. New college grads will soon be looking for employment and interviewing with companies, and mm -hmm. it's like a brand, right? It as is. As we try to advertise ourselves, Electric Impulse communication expert, that's her company, Leslie Unger, who's been here uh, few times, family lots of, of times. The show. She's a she's a friend of show. Yes, <laughs> uh, is here to uh, talk about what college grads should be thinking of, working on, practicing, yes. right, as they get All set the for those first. Interviews. The What's the most and important one? Yeah. And, and, and practice out loud. Uh, you know, what you were just saying, um, we don't think about someone interviewing too well, <laughs> but your interview, your brand is a promise of what your experience is going to be like. And sometimes people try so hard to come across as strong and confident and proactive. And they don't think about the fact that they then need to actually be that way after they get hired. Yeah, interesting. Now we have a few tips for people and mm -hmm. I kind of want to walk through these. We have, what is it, effective, not perfect. What yes. does that mean exactly? Your goal for interviewing and in communication in general, but especially for interviewing, is not to be perfect. It's to be effective enough to move through the process. Okay. Which is usually a second interview or a third interview. So let go of perfect and just ask yourself, was I effective? So, so you, the number one goal of your first interview is to get a second interview? Yes, it's not to get a job. Right. It's to get another interview. A lot of times they say, hey, do you have any questions for us? Yes. And people kind of get stumped on that one because they're not really sure what to ask. Yeah, they should be prepared point. for those questions because you, the interviewee, are interviewing the interviewer as well as they're interviewing you. Right. You don't know yet if it's a good fit. You don't know yet really if you want the job. There's a lot you have to find out, so you need to be prepared and show the interviewers that you do prepare. Anyone can say they prepare. That's true. But you really need to have the questions prepared to show that. Right, it's something I tell my kids, and, I, and tell me if it, it fits here. They, they say, well, I get so stressed out when I take a test, or I get stressed out when I've got to talk to an adult or something. I said, you know what reduces stress? Preparation. Absolutely. Preparation is the biggest reducer of stress there is out and there. If you're yes. prepared for that test, yes. there's not gonna be stress. Yes, you can reduce it. In an interview and anything to do with verbal skills, preparation means practicing out loud. Right. So I would just extend that, that when you're talking about a verbal interview, that it's not enough to go over it in your head. It, you have to practice out loud. I suggest you, you practice by walking across a room uh -huh. so that you get an idea of how much time you have to answer a question and keep their attention which is about the time it takes to walk across a room. I know you said prepare questions, so can you give us an example of something that you should maybe ask an employer? Yes, well, depending on what your interest is, mm -hmm. I had a client that was interviewing for a vice president. He said, I don't really even care what they pay me. I need a lot of time off. I have four boys, they all play sports. I need a lot of time off. Oh. Okay. So you might want to know about flex time, or you might sure. want to know about you know sick days, or you might want to know about if you have a test coming up, you're, you're still, let's say, taking your LSATs or some right. kind of college test. What's your policy on continuing ed? You know, what's your policy on additional degrees? So if education is your interest, have questions for that. If learning, if management's your interest, then you would want to have questions yeah. for that. Now, okay. Leslie, we know that you have clients, uh, top-level executives at a lot of companies around. But uh, what if a college, what if a mom or dad are out there right now and go, hey, I want to go to Electric Impulse Communications because I want... Uh, my college kid to learn yes. from you. Do you, yes. do you take those people? Absolutely. I, my youngest um, client has been 14. Wow. wow. I just worked with an 18 year old that gave a big speech in New York City. Um, I actually have a program called Camp Next for Next Generation of Leaders. In fact, I have one this Saturday for 14 to 34 year olds because think about if you knew at 14 or 20 or 25 yeah. what you know now about. <laughs> about etiquette or social etiquette or social sure. media or mm -hmm. answering questions or interviewing. So I find that for a lot of programs to get into a college, a graduate school, or your first job, it's going to require doing well in your verbal interviews. That's Absolutely. True. All right, Leslie. Thank, thank you, you so coming. much. Thank, thank you. you. I'm thank thrilled you. to be friend of show. Sam, <laughs> we are, are thrilled too, Sam. Sam? <laughs>